Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. got a pretty big gameplay today we have leon sandcastle who i just had to pick up for the team but i also spent almost two million coins to get cj2k for this gameplay julio and bryce young now i do want to give a shout out to bates for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subs to the channel turn notifications on and comment down below noti gang also guys last night was the best nba picks that i've had the entire season we had over 800 hours in w's between my picks and also my dad's picks so shout out to you guys that went ahead and copied both mine and also his picks you definitely made a lot of money last night if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy today you can use code zark to match first deposit up to hundred dollars and follow me over on twitter for my picks odds are they're probably posted right now over on twitter and if they're not they'll probably be up within like the next 10 or 15 minutes check out my twitter as i said i did pick up four cards so i'm gonna run over their stats and everything real quick we have leon sandcastle six feet tall 99 speed 98 excel yes you can have Leon and Dion on the field at the exact same time. 98 man, 99 zone. Any of these boosts, speed boosts, whatever you're seeing, are from strategy cards. There is a new strategy card with the combine promo today to give everybody a speed boost uh, that is part of the combine promo. 99 change direction, 99 juke move, 83 block shed. Really, really nice. Really nice. I'm running universal coverage on him in tier three. He does get flat zone, mid zone, deep out zone KO, uh, deep route, all this. And then in terms of abilities, I'm running pick artist on him for zero AP and deep out zone KO for one AP. And in terms of team cams, he gets legends and then all of Dion's normal cams and chiefs because the leon sandcastle was like drafted to the chiefs back in you know the super old commercial from the nfl whatever so that's why it gets chiefs and i also picked up cj 2k 99 speed 99 excel my biggest worry is the carrying at only 89 but he has 88 catch 99 change direction 97 break tackle uh 98 juke move 96 spin 89 short running overall looks amazing i am running freight train on him goal line back for one ap he does get evasive for one tank for one uh, and playmaker for one as well as human joystick for three in this one and this tier though he gets short and elite for zero backfield master for zero and human joystick for zero really quickly because i know that this says improved catching on short pass inside the numbers and this says more hot routes and improved catching from the backfield a little difference here as to why i am running short and elite i already have power master so i don't need backfield master to get the routes but it says improved catching and this just says improved catching on short passes short and elite actually negates like short route ko or mid zone ko you know like the ko abilities pretty much that make you drop the pass backfield master does not do that it does give you improved catching it doesn't help negate against dropping passes from ko's that's why you should run short and elite and then in tier three i have tank for one ap of ace for one goal line for one uh, i'm playmaker i'm running tank and then here are his team camps we also have julio jones with 98 speed 99 jumping 99 acceleration great route running great catching uh, amazing after the catch as well i'm running double me on him and then deep out elite for zero does get slot and short out for zero as well in that one and then route tech right here for one ap his team cams right there and finally bryce young who has generic three release it's pretty mid it's it's not very quick it's not the absolute worst it's just kind of a middle of the pack release it's okay you can you can kind of rock out with it but he has 92 speed 97 throw power again strategy cards 93 short 96 throw under pressure uh gonna be interested to see exactly how he plays i am running omaha on him and then he gets hot rod master or fearless and set feet lead fearless and qb playmaker in tier two whatever no good abilities and uh these guys get all team camps the draft prospects get all team camps let's get into it if you guys are looking to get better at madden 23 and you want tips ebooks and advice for madden pros then make sure to check out hotroute.tips and use code zark for 10 percent off and get better at madden 23 today so oh, let's get in this gameplay and see what we can do you guys can see my opponent looks to have a seahawks theme team perhaps with doug baldwin and russell wilson my top three all right so let's see what we can do out here with leon sandcastle on defense i'm really really excited to see uh, how we do and uh, i'm pretty sure that my opponent does indeed have a seahawks theme team 
There's Kenneth Walker. Second down and 10 coming up, and he is going to be throwing the football, which Isaiah Simmons is over there to get the tackle. All right, so let's see. Third down here. Is he going to throw underneath again? And if he is, we should be all over it. And there we are with Jalen Watson, which, to be honest, okay, never mind. I was going to say I could have a pick six. All right, so we have CJ2K. I'm very, very worried, though, for Jamal Adams right there. I do not want to take a hit stick. That's true for sure, and I almost did right there. I'm going to try my very best to kind of split it up right i know you guys want to see cj2k i know you want to see bryce young i know you want to see julio it's gonna be a little difficult to get everybody the same amount of touches but we'll see what we can do as chris johnson yeah that's 99 speed and i think my opponent does not want to see any more of chris johnson let's hop into another one okay so let's hop into the second game here and now you guys can see are we facing another theme team he has terry and gronk which he has Washington theme team on Gronk. All right, so let's see how this guy plays as he has Tom Brady and... Okay, he actually has one of the new draft rookies. I guess draft prospects because, you know, he's not a rookie just yet. Second and seven coming up, though. And he is going to run a play action. I'm going to look out underneath. I tried to get like a crazy hit there. All right, third down and one. And yep, I kind of... Oh, I was not ready for a read option, but we stopped it. I definitely was not ready for a read option. I was expecting a run, but not a read option. Fourth and two coming up, and all right, here we go with the RPOs. I absolutely despise people who run RPOs. Mostly because they're just completely bugged out this year, and your defenders, like, just don't know what to do on RPO throws. Uh, so he is going to run the football here, good tackle. Second down and eight coming up, though. Let's see if he runs the football again, which he does run the ball again. Another good tackle. All right, and on third and seven, let's see if we can get a stop. We do have Deion Sanders playing over the top, and Isaiah Simmons almost had a pick. All right, fourth and seven coming up once again. Oh, my. Really? What? How did he break that tackle? See what I'm saying? It's like when someone needs a bailout, they just go to the RPO. Go to the RPO because it's going to glitch out the defense as he's going to be running the football here. All right, and I'm sure this is probably another RPO, and I don't even know what that was. I honestly thought it was going to be another RPO. I don't even know exactly what he just did right there. But third and goal coming up, it's either a run or he's going to try to like quick fire something out here to the left side. So I'm going to be ready for it on the left and all right. Throwing the double coverage. Okay, and on fourth and goal, let's see if he decides to do something a little bit different here. He is just going to pass the football. He can probably fit it into, yeah, Edelman. My, my defender just did not move. Okay, so second quarter just started, and now we have the ball. And you guys already know, I'm going to try to feed CJ, try to throw to Julio, see what we can do. Wasn't really too much I could have done there, honestly, to stop him down in the goal line because, you know, my defender just did not drift over to stop Edelman. Second and eight coming up, though. We, we do have CJ2K wide open out of the backfield. And Chris Johnson. I mean, you can really tell he has 99 speed. I play with a lot of really, really fast players, you know, in 98 speed, uh, 97 speed, whatever. But Chris Johnson with the Excel and everything, yeah, it is very apparent that he has some really, really good speed. And Excel as Julio is wide open and Julio Jones. How did he just score? As I was talking about Chris Johnson and how good he really feels and how fast he feels, Julio Jones just tried to steal the show. That was incredible. Which I gotta say, great throw there by Bryce Young. You know, a little on-the-move throw. You love to see it, but Julio after the catch is crazy. Third down and 12 coming up, though. Let's see if we can get a stop here. I'm gonna look out for Gronk, and apparently not good enough. And this is also a really good thing about having Leon Sandcastle. You know, it's safety is he's out here but sometimes i run him in man coverage i might put one of my safeties in man so having leon in man he's obviously got extremely good man coverage but isaiah simmons coming across the field is gonna get that interception all right so now we got the ball back with a minute and 53 seconds here and we do have chris johnson out of the backfield second down and six coming up i'm looking to go deep to julio but unfortunately he's not gonna be open oh we had gronk i could have thrown that i'm actually gonna run that same exact play because i think we'll have gronk open if i can lead it up the field and gronk with the catch there we go absolutely diming this guy down the field now we're at the 37 and we have julio good throw after the catch julio jones again Dude, he's just breaking ankles, breaking tackles. And we do have goal line back on CJ2K. So I'm going to try to run this ball here, although we weren't inside the five. And let me try to run it again. Now we can actually activate goal line back. So we should get some better run blocks. And look at that. Just easy. 
I gotta say, guys, Julio Jones and Chris Johnson both really, really impressing me right now as Leon Sandcastle coming over to get the interception. Let's go. Can we get a pick six? Oh, come on. Really? Come on. Leon with the incredible range there to get the INT. Obviously, is super, super fast as... Honestly, I, I kind of just want to throw it to Julio. Yeah, I couldn't get it off. All right, second down and 21 coming up. Bad move by me to, you know, maybe just try to chuck it deep and taking a sack there. That was really, really bad. But you know what? I got to try it. I got to try it, Julio! What? No, he dropped it. I think my opponent has, like, deep route KO or something and was able to knock that out. That is so disappointing because that would have been incredible if I could have caught that right there before the end of the half. But I'm going to try to run the football here. A couple yards. An absolutely incredible first half there. I really just wish that Julio Jones would have held onto that ball. But now let's run the football here with CJ. We could have had a big run there. Second and six coming up. I'm going to go back to the run game. I'm going to try to run this to the right, but I'll probably cut it back. And yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. CJ with the juke and up the sidelines. Dude, he's so fast. You guys are seeing it. He is just ridiculously quick. As second and 16 coming up, we might... Oh, we have Julio. Yup, down the seams. Julio Jones! He dropped it again. He does have the deep out zone KOs, so that's kind of how he's able to knock it out there. But man, that is frustrating. That, that very easily uh, could have been, you know, another big time play there. We do have Gronk open over the middle. Really just needed to break that tackle and it worked. All right, and now fourth and one. Let's just see if we can quick fire this out to CJ2K. He just was not ready for that. Once again, let's see if we can just pound this into the end zone with Chris Johnson. I know we don't, you know, activate goal line back till we get down to the five, but we still have some great blocks and look at him just wiggling through traffic. All right, so my opponent now has the ball down to the 43 yard line and woo. Ooh, what a hit by Bo. On third and 10, I have to expect this is going to be an RPO. And yes, it was an RPO, but it was actually to the opposite side here. But I think he's going to have a penalty for illegal man downfield. Thank you. Third down and 15 coming up. And Mean Joe Green with the pick six. Mean Joe, you deserve this. And I think my opponent is going to be out of here, guys. What a gameplay. Overall thoughts from the gameplay, guys. Leon Sandcastle, obviously a great, great safety. Fun card and incredible range. Bryce Young, not anything special. You know, decent release, whatever. It's a decent card. But CJ and Julio really showed out. I mean, Chris Johnson, I know, 99 speed. Of course, he's supposed to be fast, but... You saw from the gameplay, he's seriously fast. I will say the carrying worries me a lot. The trucking is super low. He's only 203 pounds. In terms of being like the best running back in the game, I wouldn't say that. I still like Bo a lot. Uh, the Leonard Fournette's really good as well. I would rather have a guy that I know is going to be able to truck over people, weighs a lot more to break more tackles, and in terms of catching and everything, pretty similar and carrying... I haven't had an issue with Bo. But Chris Johnson is still really, really nice. And then Julio Jones. This card was incredible. That touchdown was sensational. 6-3. Great speed. Uh, great route running. Great hands. Obviously had a couple of drops, but... They weren't real drops, you know, it's just KO. There's nothing you can really do about it. Any receiver is going to drop the ball there. But after the catch, the plays that he made, you know, being able to break tackles, really maneuver after the catch... Julio's staying on my team. This is probably the one card and Leon Sandcastle from this gameplay that I am not getting rid of. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know what you guys think about these cards. See you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.